community segment focuses on breast cancer and an organization that's raised more than half a billion dollars toward more than 10.8 million hours of research on the subject. And joining us to discuss is Kelly Tudhill from the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us this morning. Reading the statistics, still, it's very baffling to hear that every two minutes, a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer. It's really overwhelming. The largest single risk is just being a woman. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's overwhelming, but I think the research is making a difference. We're seeing really some movement on the five-year survival rates, and that's very um, inspiring to those who are going to be watching who are diagnosed. I think there are reasons to have hope, but the hope is the research. And the Breast Cancer Research Foundation um, actually funded the trials into the drug that I needed when I was diagnosed, the targeted therapy that saved my life when I was diagnosed 11 years ago. And yours was a very public battle with breast cancer. Just the, the insight that you were able to provide and just the, the perspective that you gave just letting viewers in being former Channel 5 uh, reporter I mean it was just it was unprecedented really to, to see that kind of uh, way that you combated it so I mean you look at back then and where we are now how much progress has been made would you say I think there's been good progress I really do I think obviously awareness is very good and now we need the right therapies because people don't realize there are many different types of breast cancer the one that I had is very different from the one another person might get so the research has to zero in on the therapies that will meet each need so when I look at what I've tried to do in the 11 years and thank you for your kind words is to make the road easier for the next person and for me that's ensuring that the treatments will be available to her when she's diagnosed and breast cancer research foundation is amazing they're rated so high with all the charity watch groups which as a former journalist mm. I care a lot about 90 cents to the dollar going mm. right to research and what I love as a Bostonian eight million dollars alone this year just into the Boston area funding mm. research including my doctor which is really cool my no, doctor right. runs the young women's program at Dana-Farber and she's one of the people receiving a grant from the breast cancer research foundation and you're you're hosting a luncheon on Wednesday and these events bring all of that together right testimony from survivors and also your continued effort to raise more money because as you mentioned all of that money goes or mostly all of it goes to research which is so important it's absolutely everything BCRF is the single largest private funder of breast cancer research worldwide mm -hmm. Think about that. I mean, it's staggering um, what they can do when they can fund the research that will save lives. And on Wednesday, we'll gather at the Boston Harbor Hotel. We're going to have actually a metastatic breast cancer patient, a woman we know as Wellesley's Wonder Woman, Carol Chowey, speaking about the specific challenges of those facing stage four breast cancer and the kind of treatments they're waiting for us to, to get out into practice, you know, out of the lab and into, you know, the doctor's office so Carol can get the latest treatment that will save her life. Um, we'll also hear from the researchers active in Boston and hear the incredible things they're doing at places we all know, like yeah. Harvard and, and Mass General, and I mentioned Dana-Farber, all the premier institutions. Certainly great to talk about. For everyone that is at home listening right now and wants to partake or help, yeah, where, where can, can they go? turn? Come join us, bcrf.org, so right. bcrfcure.org, and we would love to have anyone come join us uh, at the luncheon or look at our website and see what the incredible work that's going on to save lives. Thank you for what you do, and thank you for sharing the message. It's been great to meet you. It's been great to meet you, for too. For more thank information, you. you can also head to our website, cbsboston.com. We'll be right back.